Hey you guys. How we doing on this beautiful Wednesday? It's a nice day here. I am out in Salem, Utah, and it's a little bit windy, a little bit breezy, but it's nice. It's a nice day. And it snowed like two days ago, so you never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> Anyway, my name is Chelsea Evans and I am the owner and furniture artist on Apple Blossom Way. And I come on here weekly on Wednesdays and we do cool things together. Well, I think they're cool. Sometimes you guys think they're cool. <laughs> anyway, I like to uh, do some furniture pieces with you and then sometimes I like to do smaller projects, uh, things that you can kind of grab and do maybe with your friends, do on your own, and even sometimes I like to take things and um, flip them into something different. So today we are going to be creating a Christmas tree out of scrap wood. And this was kind of a super quick random project, but I kind of have wanted to do some Christmas things and I haven't had much time yet. And so I thought this would be something fun and different to have new in my home or maybe to give as a gift. So uh, I know a lot of you are home right now, you might have some extra time. And so this would be something fun if you have scrap wood laying around that you could do with. All right, so basically what you need is scrap wood. You can use any, any type you want, pine, oak, alder, whatever you have. Um, these I had, I actually found these at a place called Project Restore or Habitat for Humanity. Uh, a lot of home builders and, and people donate to them and you can go and purchase things for uh, a lot cheaper. It's like a thrift store essentially for home building projects. And so I will go and look for wood there or wood scraps because sometimes you can find really good quality wood that uh, builders have discarded and donated. So I found a bunch of these. These were quite a bit longer. These were probably three foot boards. And I created a design for the end cap on my kitchen island with them because it's beautiful wood. And I saved all the scraps for random projects. So the design I created was a herringbone pattern. So all of my boards have a... Um, an angled cut on one end, which actually works out perfect for the project that I'm going to show you. You don't have to have angled cuts. You can do just straight boards if you want. I think either way, this tree would look cool with uh, straight wood pieces or with angled cuts. Um, you, you can even cut them on both sides and just use one board, different sizes. So I'm gonna show you as we go down here and then you guys can kind of see what we're doing here. Now, as you come on, say hello and uh, Tell me what you like about this project we're working on. Do you like the stick and style stencils, the transfers, what's your favorite thing, okay? All right, so I will kind of show you this design. I've laid it out upside down to me, so it will be right side up for you guys. <laughs> uh, for the top, I have this little scrap. It's not a perfect triangle, but I think it's kind of fun and funky, so I'm gonna leave it just like this. Um, and then I have one solid piece for our next section, so you guys can kind of see our shape. And then the other scrap wood pieces I had were just scraps that were about the same size. So I haven't decided if I'm going to put them together and secure them so I have long boards or if I'm going to leave them separate. But I'm, I wanted to leave them separate while we worked on it because I thought I could do two different designs on uh, each side and then do something really cool and funky all the way around. Now, I can also take this when I'm done and I can secure it onto a large piece of wood that's framed and then I can hang the whole thing um, and have like a framed wood artwork. Or I have these, you can get them in a packet like this at the hardware store, but they're just screws with the wooden or with the round circles on the top. And so I can screw these right into, just drill a hole, screw it right into the wood and then I could use um, any type of string or ribbon just in between to secure one to the next and then kind of hang it as a big tree and um, display it that way. I could drill all the way through the wood and tie knots with a stronger hemp string and then, or jute string, and then display it that way. So there's lots of different ways to do it. Whatever you have, if you have large scraps of wood, you can kind of lay this out and glue it on, you can do that. Or if you wanna hang it and have a hanging 
tree, that's really fun too. You could even have it hanging somewhere in your home that uh, you can see all of the sides of it and then you can do both sides and uh, have something that's more like 3D, all right? Another thing you can do before we get started is just my last idea that I had. Yes, you can just use it like this. It looks cool and it will be a fun decoration or you can get little clips after you design it and different sizes or styles, whatever suits your fancy and um, secure them down and then you can distance these out a little bit more so it takes up more wall space and then you can uh, put on Christmas cards things like that that you get from neighbors, family, and friends. So anyways, kind of keep that in mind. There's lots of different uh, things that you can do with this to make it yours and make it cool. So with that, we'll get started. All right, so I have a couple of colors out. Um, I do have some chalk paste from Redesign with Prima and Iron Gate, uh, which is kind of a black and chalky white. I have some greens from Wise Owl. Uh, this is Foxtrot. It's one of my favorite greens. It's just a perfect winter green. Um, I grabbed a Spanish olive, which is a little more yellow toned, uh, a dark red, and stick and style stencils. Right now I have out the dark, the dot, the large dot stencil. Uh, this one is the Calypso lattice stencil. Oh, you can see it better like that. And then this one is the Tea Rose Garden, which I'll show you. This is kind of has little roses on it. It's really beautiful. So I'm going to do these all different designs and different colors and kind of make it funky and fun. I also grabbed two transfers that I thought would be great for this. Perfect. This is the, uh, let's see, this is the gingham red transfer. So it actually has four sheets, two of this and two of this in it. This is really fun transfer for Christmas projects and perfect for this tree, I thought. The other transfer I grabbed is the algae transfer, and it has more pieces in this, but I just grabbed, these were two that I had left over. So I thought that was kind of fun and looks a little bit Christmassy. We could use part of that. So we're just gonna make this super fun and funky. And you can use scraps of transfers. So if you guys have scraps laying around, use those, okay? All right, so I, to get this started, I'm just gonna take some of this chalky white um, the chalk paste from Redesign with Prima, and I'm just gonna brush it on some of these to give us a base. This is really thick. These are perfect for stick and style stencils, um, and you can just paint with it too. So a small project like this is great. Uh, let's, I'm just gonna grab a couple pieces and kind of just roughly paint it on there. Just light. I'm gonna let some of the wood show through. And it's kind of funny, but the chalk paste, they smell really good. <laughs> um, Wiesel paints don't really have much of a smell. I love that about them. Uh, the chalk paste from Redesign with Prima have just like this sweet smell that's kind of nice. So it's fun. Okay, we'll just paint both of these here. You could even do um, the stick and styles that we're gonna do on this over stained wood and that would be really pretty. Uh, like if you just did white and then had stained wood, you could make this whatever you want, fun and funky, or um, you can use traditional colors. You could use like a nude pink with golds and maybe like a silver in there. That would be super, super pretty and more, um, you know, neutral. So it kind of depends on your style and what you like. So we'll paint those two white and then let's do this one black. Why not? Just to give us a base. Now I see y'all coming on here, but I don't see anyone saying hi. What's up with that? It's not cool. Don't be afraid. I don't bite. No, I like to see you guys say hi because I like to see where everyone, you know, is from and how you guys are doing too. Makes me not feel so lonely. <laughs> All right. So I'm doing this first so we can kind of let this dry. 
while we apply transfers and all that jazz. This is the Iron Gate, the, just the chalk paste from Redesign with Prima. It's called Iron Gate, but it's, it's black. Put it on there nice and thin so it will dry quickly. Okay, I think this is gonna be a great base for us. And for our transfers, let's see, what do we wanna use first? I love, love this gingham print. The red gingham is super pretty. Hi, from New Hampshire, welcome from the UK. All right, now we're rolling. Okay, so let's go with, I think I'm gonna like this one next to our black because it has some black in it. So let's do that one first. And you guys, I didn't grab scissors. When you have your whole list of things that you're gonna grab, I forgot them, hold on. They're right in here. Okay, thanks. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to take this and kind of roughly measure, need about like that. Cut it. Set this aside, I can save it. That's the fun thing, some of these transfers, like if you were gonna do a bunch of these with friends, uh, you you know, one transfer is gonna go a long way. You could do the same design over one entire tree and that would be super cute too. South Africa, hello from California. Sunny, beautiful California. I love California. My mom grew up in the Bay Area and we used to go visit all the time, so. I spent a lot of time in the Redwoods and in Santa Cruz, um, which makes me so sad about the fires there because I absolutely loved being in Santa Cruz. Okay, so, and then I'm just gonna take and kind of roughly cut. And this is nice, this has a straight edge here for me to follow, so that's nice. Doesn't have to be perfect. I just might as well cut it off and then save my scraps. Um, I'm actually planning on using some of these for my Christmas ornaments. So if you guys have solid colored Christmas ornaments that don't have like glitter and stuff on them uh, and you wanna update them, this is a great way to do it because you can apply the transfer or stick and style stencils to those ornaments and update them, which is kind of fun. Okay, so let's, this is the right way, right? I gotta make sure before I put it on there. Okay, so let's do this one here. I think that's gonna be super cute. I'm just gonna peel it right off. And someone said that it's the first time watching a live from this page, so I typically go live uh, from my personal account on this page, but it's kinda nice because Facebook has made some updates. So now I can go from my business page which is Apple Blossom Wee. Okay, cool. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Look, I even missed an edge. Oops, it's fine. Not worried about it. Um, I can apply it on there. And when I'm all done with this, especially with the stick and style stencils, I'll probably go over and distress the whole thing and kind of give it an aged look, which I, that's, I'm kind of all about that. <laughs> um, I like doing that because it doesn't have to be perfect and then I don't feel like, I don't feel stressed about making it perfect. I wanna enjoy the process, so it kind of depends on your style and what you like. But I think this is a cool transfer to stressed as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it right onto our wood. And then I'll go back over it one more time. See how cute that's gonna be on our little tree? I love it. I'll go back over it one more time and just make sure it's on there really well. Get out any bubbles or anything that's important to do. And you can see this, this wood has some lines going through it. So if you have wood with grains and you really burnish it well, 
like an oak, you're gonna see like an oak grain, which is nice because then you know it's nice and solid wood underneath. I can go through when I'm all done if I want to and I can paint the edges of my tree um, black or green or whatever color I want to finish it. Or since it's wood, I think I'll just apply a stain, a gray stain or uh, maybe like a dark walnut stain, Wiseau glaze, and just kind of stain that and give it a nice classy look. Kind of cute, huh? Yes, the Bay Area, it is beautiful. I'm glad it's raining there, that makes me happy. That is good news. Okay, so we've got a black here. I'm loving this together. I think that's gonna look super good. Now on this side, what do you guys think? Should we do the same? Or should we make it funky, mix it up and do something different? I'm kind of thinking we should do something different. I think we should do the sister pair of this. So that would be right here. Now, let's see, that's clear, okay? So if I apply this right over the top of my wood piece, the wood's gonna show through, which I'm totally okay with that. I'm gonna distress it, I think it will be really pretty. Just keep that in mind when using this transfer, it's not white. So if you want a white back, then you want to paint it white first and then apply it over it, okay? Mix it up. I like the way you think, Susie, let's do it. <laughs> okay, let's see. So another just rough cut and toss it. You guys would laugh if you could see my <laughs> toss pile over there. Every time I finish a live, it's like, uh, ah, we had a war zone in here. Okay, and then we'll just roughly do this other edge. Keep this on there so I can use it again. Oof. That means it's gonna come off really easily onto my piece, which is nice. So I'll just carefully set that over there. Okay, where'd it go? Make sure I'm doing it the right way as I have angled cuts. So you can see my tree is going to have angles. You can use straight boards and you don't have to uh, worry about an angle too. That's totally Okay, and I like the blonde wood look too, um, but if I wanted the wood to show underneath this, then I would stain it and wait at least uh, two days before applying the transfer just to make sure all the oils are absorbed. Um, or I can use a Wiseau glaze, which is water-based, and do stain it that way. And uh, then, I, as soon as it's dry, I could apply the transfer. So, let's see like that. Yeah, see, that's gonna be really cute. I like it. I like it a lot. But this would even be fun if you just have square scraps of wood. You could put these on it, drill a hole through the top, take your string, your jute string or twine, put, tie it through and hang them on your Christmas tree as ornaments. Um, so anything, any kind of scraps you have laying around, like think, think about what you can do with them. You could use them as gift tags. If you guys share cookies or anything like that at Christmas, uh, you can use those scrap woods, drill a hole, tie a string through it and apply a transfer. And then give it as a gift. Then they can have the cookies and you just gave them an ornament, they can hang on their tree too. And then your gift looks cute with a cute tag. Ah, that's a win. See, this one, I, I didn't totally um, burnish it. You know, obviously I missed a few spots, but see how it looks even a little distressed? It's really cute. So that's what I love about these. They're really, they're cute, distressed and worn. Coasters, that's another thing to do with scrap pieces of wood. Cut them into squares, throw some transfers on them like this, do an epoxy pour over the top, and you have cool coasters, All right? Look how cute that is, I love it. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be fun. Yeah, I'm excited, okay. So, let's apply, I think we're gonna do stick and style stencils on these two. So let's apply our algae transfer on our bottom piece, which is green, and then we will apply some stick and style stencils, give those a little bit more time to dry, 
and I'll show you guys how to do that too. Okay, so we'll grab our base. Just kind of move things around here. And the algae transfer. This is the algae transfer. This is the top part of it. And the bottom has some really cute, check out those polka dots. Isn't that perfect? So let's use that because I think that would be super fun on one part. And then we can use some of the other part of the transfer on the other one. And actually, I'm gonna go this side. So let's cut right up our polka dots here. about this you guys to be honest I wasn't sure how this was gonna turn out but I think it's gonna be rad so you guys can get excited with me <laughs> okay see that's perfect so look at your transfer pieces look at the scraps you've saved and think about what you can do with them sometimes it's like a half a piece of a flower sometimes it's some leaves um, but half a piece of the flower on this would take up a lot of room and it would be really cute. This would be so cute to do like a funky floral tree. I mean, it doesn't have to be traditional. You don't have to do red and green. Um, you could totally do like boho, a boho style tree, which would be super fun. Use, um, you could do an industrial style. Use, you know, your blacks, silvers, um, some rust, iron oxide, the color I created. Uh, for Wise Owl paint is a great rust. That would be really cool. You could get some industrial hooks to hang it from and make it your style. You could make mini ones and they could be ornaments. That would be cool. You could make a garland. What else can you make? I mean, I keep, what, what else can you do that, with scrap pieces of wood? You guys tell me, we've said ornaments, tree garlands, uh, Christmas tags for gifts, a tree, which is what we're making now. What else, what do you guys think? Let's give each other some ideas. I love things like this because, you know, these are scraps I was gonna throw away. Scraps of transfers. So I'm creating this for hardly anything and it's gonna be really cool, unique, one of a kind decor for me or a gift for someone that I love. So if you're on a budget, it's a great thing to do. Look how fun that is. Isn't that cool, fun and funky? And that's gonna look great with the other designs. So I'll set this down here. Let's do the other side. And then we'll get out our stick and style stencils and apply those. Let's see. I might see if I can just use this one. And then I'm only cutting part of it. Yeah, we'll do that. So this has some cool leaves in it. With It has a little bit of script, some random numbers. I think that is fun. So we will apply it there. Kind of give us a straight edge. Yeah, that the, the green transfer is super cool. Uh, I used the other part of it um, on a buffet that I have on the inside of the doors when you open it. And it looks, it's really cool. 
kind of has a boho feel. It's funny how some transfers I see and I, re I don't love them. And then when I use them on something, I'm like, oh, I actually really, this is really cool. A great transfer. So you never know what you're gonna love. I made that way too big. Goodness, how did I do that? You know what, a smarter way, if you have a pen, which I don't have one on, would be to stick it on the back. If you have a funky shape and draw a pen mark there and then guess what, you have a perfect fit. But that's if you, if you can do that, do that. It's much smarter. Goodness, it would have been smart for me to think of that five minutes ago. <laughs> That's okay, we thought of it and now you guys know the right way to do it. And you won't have to waste your time doing it that way. <laughs> Why we make mistakes so we can learn. Okay, cool. So the green one is called algae. Uh, Krista says, I'm new to transfers. How long do they stay adhered to the wood? So you're gonna seal them. So I'm gonna put this on and I'm going to seal it with, uh, I'll use Wiesel varnish. It's a water-based water -based top coat that I really love. Uh, that's what I use to seal it with, but you can use any water-based top coat. So add your water-based top coat and then it's there forever. So it's not gonna wear off or come off and it's protected. So, be careful not to touch the back like I just did because that's a sure way to make it not stick as well. <laughs> so if you're new to transfers, my biggest advice would be to, this is called burnishing. This is what I'm doing right now. I'm just uh, rubbing the transfer onto the wood to get it to stick, to do a really good job of this. If you burnish it really well and make sure it's applied well, and then go over it again after you remove the plastic top and not have any bubbles, you're gonna have great adhesion, you won't have any issues with it sticking. And um, when you apply your top coat, it's going to really just be on there and you'll be happy with it. If you do not do a good job of this, there, it can bubble, it can crackle or have other issues. So make sure you just do this step really well and you'll love it and you won't have issues. Okay. So go, I just press my edges that are over down. Go over it one more time. And then we will apply our stick and style stencils. Cause I think that part's gonna be super cool. And the top, I just have this, but you could get like a metal star or something and put a hole through it and then you could hang it all together too. Uh, if you wanted like a star top or you know if you're doing a theme like if you're doing a cool funky floral tree you could get a floral wood piece cut out from a hobby store craft store and put that as your tree topper that'd be super cool okay and i really love this i don't know if you guys can see it but my blonde wood showed through so this wasn't it shows that it's kind of a creamy color which it is but it's see-through, it's transparent. And so you can kind of see some of my wood grain coming through. I really, really love that. I think that's really cool. So here is our base, our tree. Cute, huh? I like it, I think that's cool. Okay, let's do stick and style stencils on the others and then we'll have a completed tree. So cute, okay, let's see. So we painted these white in the beginning and this black. And then I am thinking we'll do uh, the polka dots for part. And I think the tea rose garden is gonna be a little too florally. I'll show it to you anyways though, because it's honestly one of my favorite stick and style stencils. And they last forever. These, see how thick these rolls are? 
and you can reuse them several times. Like if I cut a piece and use it, I can keep using it until it doesn't stick anymore. So they, they really are like, they're awesome. But this is the tea rose garden. It's really a beautiful transfer. And that would be so pretty if we painted it like in a silver. That would be really pretty actually. Maybe we should do that. Okay, so we are gonna use this. Plants changed. Let's go right over our white. Let's see, how do, what do we wanna do? Yeah, let's add some metallic into these. I think that's gonna be cool. So I'm gonna take this, put it right over the top, cut it, save my stick and style. These are great because they stick really well. Um, I've used these on fabric, on the purses that you can get from Redesign with Prima. These are really cool to use. So I've done some bleached clothing. I did a cool denim jacket and I applied the stick and style stencil and then I dabbed the bleach on top, let it sit in the sun, and it left the bleach design with that in it. It's very, they're so versatile and we do really rad things with them. So, got it on there. Um, I grabbed one of these metallics I just got from Redesign with Prima. These are really beautiful metallics. So this is the, the it's from Art Alchemy Metallique Metallics. Uh, they're just little, little jars of them. And this one is called Brass Hardware. It's a really pretty, it's like a mix between copper and gold and bronze. If they got together and had a baby, that's what Brass Hardware is. It's pretty. Oh, I just sprayed my, squirted myself with it. I guess this is a new can I haven't opened yet. Well, that's fine. <laughs> okay, so you can see it's just got a beautiful tone to it. And then I'm just gonna use just a little art brush and paint it right on top. I think this will give us some bling to our piece as well. So I'm just gonna paint right over it. Uh, you could use a roller to do this. Like if you're doing a bunch of them, if you had a little foam roller, this would be super fast to just pour it on a plate, roll it and roll these on and then just go down your line. So if you've got like some kind of assembly line, you're, you know, if you're really digging this project and you want to do a hundred of them, get out your foam roller and roll it on, go super fast for you. Or if you're applying it to a wall, I have used these on walls uh, to add something cool. This would be so cute in a little girl's room or in a, like a Victorian office or something. The tea rose garden would be uh, a foam roller would be ideal to use for something like this. Since I'm only doing one or two, I, my brushes are great. Okay, I think we got that all on there. Let's look and see. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, so let's do it all. What? Oh, that's so cute. Okay. Now you can't say this wouldn't be so cute as like a little ornament on a tree. Especially, okay, my sister-in-law is super into like nude colors, golds. If you did this with um, Wiseau 1987, it's like a nude pink, would be super pretty. Yeah, I love that. That's so, so cute. Okay, and then, you know what? I wanna use this, it's sitting here, I might as well. So we're gonna go ahead and do our top piece with it as well. So I'll just take it and stick it down. Um, I can put this, if I wanna save this piece and use it on something later, I could put it on a little piece of like the transfer, extra transfer backing or plastic and set it aside and then I could use it again later on. Um, or if it's gonna be a long time, I might just toss it and then just continue on with my roll of stick and style stencils down the road. Okay, so there's our little top. And that's just over the natural wood color. Oh, I love it. Okay, so I'll just set this aside, stick it on my chair over here and I can save it for something else. All right, so let's do, 
Another stick and style stencil, the polka dots, I think would be really fun up here on our black. And then we'll add one more here and then we're done. And you guys can go uh, storm through your house and see what you have laying around that might be fun to use on a project. <laughs> Okay, let's see. And I can even set this on here. Like that. And cut this and roll it right back on our stencil and then I'm saving my excess there so kind of be strategic and I want this to be pretty centered so I'm going to kind of find my center here There we go. Okay, and then add our polka dots over top of our black. My little boy had a haunted house project he did in school and um, he had to paint it and take it back. And so we used these, this polka dot stick and style stencil and applied some um, yellows and oranges and things like that to his haunted house and it looked so cool. It was really awesome. Okay, let's do, let's do the metallic again. I'm kind of loving that. I think that is just so classy and pretty. So let's do that one more time up here. Uh, this would also be really cute, black and white. But we'll do something down there with it. So we'll just use our same metallic, the brass hardware, and paint right on top of our little circles. and pull it off. <gasps> oh. <laughs> okay, and set my cue, I love it. Okay, all right, we've got one more piece and then we are done and I'll show you guys the whole thing and then you go do your thing. Okay, let's do the what do we want to do on that one? We'll do the lattice. So this is the lattice stick and style stencil. And you don't have to use different stick and styles. Um, you could do every other and use the same stick and style stencil and one transfer. You don't have to have a bunch of everything. You could only use stick and style. You could only use transfers. You know, don't feel like you have to have a whole bunch of things to make something really cool. You don't. So this is the Calypso lattice. This is really beautiful on the sides of drawers. When you pull them out, you can see that it's really pretty. And then I'm gonna do black on this, so it's white and black, so it kind of ties in. We have a, a lot of black up here, it's a little heavy. If I add some more black down here, it will kind of bring the eye up and down, which is what we want, and then it will balance it out. Um, I was gonna use a color, but I think I'm just gonna stick with the black. So 
So this is the iron gate. And I'm just using a little Klingon brush. This is an S30 Klingon, F S30 Klingon brush. You could use a roller too. But I'll just kind of put this on there. The chalk pastes are really thick. And so uh, you only need one coat, typically. And I'll stipple it on to give us a little extra texture. They dry with a matte finish. When I'm all done with this, I will seal this in uh, Wise Owl Matte Varnish, which is a water-based top coat. It's very durable. And I think it will look really nice. Now on your metallics, um, what I might do is recommend sealing it and then applying the metallic so you're not applying a matte finish over top of your metallics so they're very shiny. Uh, I would probably recommend doing that if you're going to add metallics. And then you probably don't need to seal the metallics. If you use Wise Owl metallics, the heavy metal paint, they don't need a sealant on top and so those are great to use as well. Okay, let's pull this off and then we are done. Try not to flip the board at you this time. All right. Oh, that's awesome. So cute. All right, save my stick and styles. Ah, okay, let's see the whole thing. All right, so we've got our base, the algae transfer on the base. We have our white with the brass hardware and black iron gate with our stick and style stencils. Our gingham, red gingham transfers right on top there. Polka dot, large vintage polka dot with the black and iron gate and then our little tiny um, tea rose garden stencil on top. There we go, we got a tree. I could put a trunk on here if I wanted to or I can just leave it. Let me kind of show you guys there. Isn't that fun? And then if we hang it up, I'll just, uh, my phone just came off my stand. That was awkward. That almost fell all apart. I pretty much just did. <laughs> anyway, we can hang it with our little screws here, add some clips and add cards or just leave it as is. Paint the backside and have it 3D and hang it somewhere where it can turn. That would be cool too. So I hope you guys had fun watching and I hope you learned something and go find your scraps and make something really cool and then post about it when you do and tag me so I can see it. Thank you guys. Have a great day. See ya.